How to install the Gatekeeper client software using a command line. This is useful for installing the Gatekeeper client software on many computers very quickly. The goal is to create a folder with the following contents. The Gatekeeper client.msi and a .bat file with the command line that will execute the installation. Let's start with the Gatekeeper client. Go to your Gatekeeper hub and on the left, click Downloads. Here are the Gatekeeper software installers. Let's download the Windows version here on the left. Open the file location and create a new folder. This will be your Gatekeeper installation folder. You may name it accordingly. Then move the Gatekeeper client.msi into the Gatekeeper installation folder. In the same folder, right-click and under New, create a text document. This is where you will write your command line. The arguments for the command line are detailed on gatekeeperhelp.zendesk.com. The article is entitled Gatekeeper Client Command Line Install Script. We have provided a link to this article below in the description area of this video. Towards the bottom of the article, in red, we have compiled for you a sample command line. Copy and paste it into your text document. There are three things here that need to be altered. This server address should be changed to match the address of your company's gatekeeper hub. This port number should be changed accordingly. For an on-premise hub, your port number is 3015. For an on-premise hub with off-site access, your port number is 443. For a cloud hub, your port number is 443. Finally, after API key, in quotes, this should be replaced with your company's gatekeeper API key. To find your API key, go to your Gatekeeper Hub. On the upper right, click Administration. On the left, click API Keys. This key will be used to sync your client to the Gatekeeper Hub. For security reasons, half of your API key is not being shown. To show it, toggle this button on the right from Hide to Show you'll be asked to enter your Gatekeeper Hub password for verification. There we go. Now copy your API key. You can do this by pressing the copy icon on the right of the key and paste it into your command line. You are now ready to save this command as a .bat file. You can do that by clicking Save As. And now name your file gatekeeper install script dot bat and click save you will now see the dot bat file in your folder now the folder is complete in order to install the gatekeeper client all you have to do is double click and run your gatekeeper install script dot bat file and the client will be successfully installed onto your computer